from the politics and into questions of governance, or at least digging into history, legal opinion is divided as to whether former cabinet minister Chris Okemo and former Kenya Power CEO Samuel Gishoro will be immediately arrested and airlifted to Jersey Island to face charges on theft of public funds and money laundering. On Friday, the Supreme Court gave the Director of Public Prosecutions the green light to proceed with extradition proceedings that had been instituted at the Magistrate Court since 2011. NTV Seto Lali looks into the Okemo Gishuru extradition saga. Uh, Santin. <laughs> Focus is now on the Director of Public Prosecutions, Nudrin Haji, who now has the blessings of the Supreme Court to proceed with the extradition proceedings against former Energy Minister Chris Okemo and ex-Kenya Power CEO Samuel Gishuru. However, there is deferring legal interpretation as to whether DPP Haji will embark on the 2011 extradition proceedings that had been instituted at the Magistrate Court or hand over Okemo and Gishuru to Jersey Island authorities with immediate effect. Now that they are free to be arrested, the Interpol, the International Police Service, is free to collaborate with the Kenya government and the other authorities to actually have them apprehended and to have them uh, air freighted to, uh, to, to, to face their trial. So, the timelines are as soon as they are able to be arrested, as soon as they are able to be taken to New Jersey, I believe that the courts in New Jersey will be ready and uh, willing to start this process. So I would say it's with immediate effect. It's only a question of when are they going to be arrested, when are they going to be air freighted. Of course, they need to put their house in order, they need to sort a few things, if they must sort out a few things, but they must now be released by the Kenya government. It has to facilitate their release. In other words, actually the Kenya government can arrest them on behalf of the international police and hand them over. But because the persons who are being uh, undertaken through the process are Kenyan nationals, they are entitled to a right of appeal and uh, to claim that their constitutional rights are being violated. That means that the extradition process may be delayed as an appellate process again begins from the magistrate's court to the high court and even the court of appeal. Okemo and Gishuru are wanted in Jersey Island to face charges on theft of public funds and money laundering. The former senior public service officers are alleged to have defrauded millions of shillings from Kenya Power between 1998 and 2002 and hid the proceedings in the United Kingdom's Jersey Island offshore accounts. Following a request by the Jersey Island in April 2011, the DPP started the extradition proceedings before a magistrate's court, but the two men moved to the High Court to quash the case, arguing that it was unlawful and against their rights. So basically what they're being asked to do is to go and face the law, and it could as well turn out that they are innocent or it could as well turn out that they are guilty. So the process of extradition is not a sentence, it's not a verdict of guilt, but rather it is a decision to make them go and face those criminal uh, 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 charges. There is a process to determine whether the minimum threshold of uh, evidence or the minimum threshold of legality justification is available for them to be tried in the Jersey court after extradition. However, Friday's Supreme Court ruling means that the 2011 extradition proceedings at the Magistrate Court were properly triggered by the DPP and the court should now continue forthwith on a priority basis. Chris Okemo served as the energy minister in the government of the late Daniel Arap Moi for three years, while Gishuru headed Kenya Power for 17 years. Seth Olale, NTV.